Welcome back to my channel, Tomcat Stitchery. Um, I'm Whitney, and we are here for another week of Vlogmas. And before we get into this past week's of Vlogmas, um, today you're watching this on Friday, um, December 15th. And uh, today's Love Notions pattern is the Legato Jeans. It's $5 today only. Um, if you watched my video on Tuesday, you know I'm getting ready to make myself another pair. Um, I'm going to merge the Legatos with the Largo Cargos, um, put the leg of the Largo car Cargos onto the Legatos. Um, the Legatos are just a great jean pattern that um, um, have like a choose your own adventure type thing depending on your body style. So full butt, flat butt, um, curve from waist to hip, no curve from waist to hip, regular, petite, tall. Um, they're just a really good um, pattern and there's also a class that goes along with that. So it is $5 today only. Whitney 10 gets you an additional 10% off that um, pattern as well off that sale price. So saves you an extra 50 cents, which isn't too shabby. So if you're looking for a, a fun and challenging project for the new year, I think this is a great one to grab, especially if you haven't made jeans before, but I will be doing that in the new year as well. Um, making that one up anyway. Okay, let's get to Vlogmas. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It is the 8th of December. Um, God, it is, I don't know, like 9.30 in the morning. I am just off to a really slow start this morning. My limbs feel like they weigh 100 pounds. I just am really moving slowly. Um, Fridays is the day that Jenny and I get together for our weekly, like, um, planning meetings, kind of. And, uh, I also, we've got some meetings with a couple of other people today as well. So I don't know that I'm gonna have a lot of sewing today. Um, however, I had a great time last night at the show. I can't show you my outfit because I did end up wearing that new pattern test. Felt very festive in it. It's a really good one. I'm excited to share that one with you guys. So hang tight on that. You'll, that'll be here before you know it. I'll be sharing that one here soon. Um, like real soon when you're watching this, like real soon. Um, but anyway, that, um, happened and, uh, yeah, our high school's really, we have a gigantic high school. I've mentioned that before, a gigantic high school. There's like 5,500 students at my kid's high school, and that's grades 9 through 12. Um, so you, as you can imagine, the, qu the choral department is enormous as well. Anyway, <laughs> so there's a lot of talent to pull. It was a pretty amazing show last night, so that was fun. Um, tonight, we have a little church party um, um, up at the church. Um, kind of, a, it's like a thank you for um, some of the volunteers um, that my kids and I serve up at our church every week. And so it's kind of a thank you Christmas party. Um, my husband's going to, um, he doesn't serve in the same capacity that we do, but he's invited as well. So we're doing that tonight. Um, but yeah, I probably won't have a lot of sewing to share with you guys. Um, I just have a feeling it's going to be a lot of admin today, but maybe, um, my wall wife order finally arrived so I can <laughs> actually, um, get some of that sewing done, but yes. And I've got the mood to some filming, I think later today, after obviously after I fix my hair and do some makeup, but uh, anyway. Okay, so I just wanna say good morning and I'll check back in later. Okay, much later in the day, as you can see, it's dark outside, <laughs> but it's only 6.15. Um, anyway, we are gonna be going to a Christmas party at the church, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so it's been a busy day of working. Um, had some really good meetings today. Um, got some good admin stuff done. And so now it's time to start the weekend. <laughs> um, so yeah, going to a little party with my family and uh, yeah, gonna have some festive fun. Even though I'm not dressed very festively, but um, this is just what I had on today. So fix my hair a little bit, throw on a little bit of makeup and we're gonna go have some fun. Okie dokie. Hello, happy Saturday. It is December 9th. <laughs> it is late in the day, it's like five o'clock. Um, I've really not done much today. I painted my nails. I've got a Christmassy um, <laughs> nail polish on. We're gonna go to our um, city's Chris Kindle Market. I'll do a little filming there just so you can kind of see. Um, I've done that before in past years, but I think we're gonna do that as a family tonight um, and eat dinner at some of the stalls and stuff and walk around. It's just a really cute winter um, Christmas winter wonderland. I've done zero sewing today. Um, I, yeah, just, yeah, just been kind of a lazy Saturday, which has been really nice. Um, but I just wanted to pop on and say happy Saturday to you. And um, I probably won't pop back on to say good night, but um, I'll maybe get a little bit of footage just of the um, Chris Kindle Market while we are there. Um, yeah, be back tomorrow. We've got church tomorrow. And then um, 
maybe I'll get down into the sewing room. I have a technique I want to try out, and if it works, I'm going to film a tutorial for you guys. So um, I may do that a little bit tomorrow um, and see how that goes. Okay, I uh, hope you're having a good Saturday, and I'll check back in later. everyone. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday the 10th. Um, okay. And it's like in the afternoon. Um, so we did, I took some footage of us going into our little Chris Kendall market. It was so packed last night though. We were going to have dinner there and, uh, the lines were so long for all of the different, um, uh, venues, which makes sense. Cause a lot of people from out of town come on the weekends, um, like in surrounding areas. We need to go on a weeknight. It's open Wednesday through Sundays. So it's closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. So I feel like this week, maybe we go on like a Wednesday night or a Thursday night um, when it's just like local. I mean, it'll still be busy, but maybe a little more manageable. So we walked around it a little bit and then we just ended up um, going out for dinner somewhere else last night, the four of us. Uh, but it was still really fun. We parked and walked the little trail down. Um, it was just very, very packed. So anyway, we had church this morning and did that, got my grocery shopping done. So now I'm sitting down here and I'm testing out something that I saw on Instagram. And if it works, I'm going to do a tutorial on it. So I'm currently, I've got my bias skirt cut out, um, but I saw a trick for doing um, baby hems on bias cut skirts and so, um, and using band roll. So this, this normally goes in like waistbands. So I'm trying it with this band roll to see if it works. So I've cut a piece of like um, scrap silk that I had on the bias, like um, like, a, like a curved hem. I'm gonna play around with it. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys that right now because if it does work, I'll do a tutorial on the actual skirt um, and put that into one of the regular videos. So um, I will show you if it does work, but I'm trying to wrap my head around it right now. <laughs> So that's what I'm down here doing. I put a ham in the oven. We're going to have ham tonight, and then we can eat on that for lunches all week. Um, my daughter is at the high school. Um, they're still performing their holiday spectacular. That's the event that my husband and I went to Thursday night. She and her friends went to the show today. So she's there. Um, we just I just finished working on my son's... Um, helping him with his schedule for next year. So they're already, there's so many kids at their high school that they start planning schedules for the following year, like really early, like right now. Um, in fact, it's a little bit later for the older um, kids. They've already done like the freshmen and sophomores back in October for next year. So um, we sat down just to make sure we're hitting all of our, um, getting all the classes in that he needs to graduate, which I think we're going to be fine. Um, and I'll work on that with my daughter as well. Um, so yes, we've done a little bit of that, which that's kind of weird to think about. And um, yeah, again, grocery shopping. So finally down here in my sewing room, it's very gray and yucky outside. It's very cold today and very gray. So I'm going to play around with this. I'll show you the finished results if I can get it to work. Well, I am happy to report that this trick did in fact work. I tested it a few different ways and I think I've got a good technique to now use Look at that pretty little baby hem. Um, to now use on my bias cut skirt. Okay, I will film that um, as a tutorial and um, put that in when I show off my bias cut skirt, um, which will be a video. It may not be a video until January, but um, 
I will, I will film what I have learned into that tutorial. That was so easy. Okay, I have to admit, I had my doubts that it was gonna work. It looked very easy on the Instagram Reels, and I'm like, okay, we're gonna give it a try. And um, it worked. Now I gotta see if I can find the person <laughs> I saw it on Instagram Reels so I can give them credit. Um, again, I will put all of that, oh, what is happening? All of that into the um, video with, um, when I do the bias cut skirt though. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased with that. So that's exciting. Okay, <laughs> I think that's all the sewing I'm gonna do today. We need to go, uh, my husband and I need to um, go up and do some um, uh, family finance type stuff, which is not very exciting, but things that need to get done. So um, as we come upon end of year, I'm very excited about this band roll hack. And um, yeah, stay tuned. I'll be showing you more about that as it comes. Um, I think that's all I've got. I was going to do some more sewing. I need to make the bias cut skirt. I need to make those two bags. And then I kind of want to finish those, that Luna loungewear stuff. I have a lot of filming to do this week. So we'll just kind of see how that all um, comes out. It may not, you know, it may be the following week that I have to, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully I can get some sewing in this week though. Um, just to make the <laughs> vlog a little more exciting. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. The Luna Loungewear, if it doesn't get done before Christmas, that's fine. That's just stuff for me. Um, I do need to get the bags done. And I really want to get that skirt done so that I can wear it for our um, Christmas Carol performance. So anyway, that is what is on the docket for me. Um, I think that's it for today. I will check back with you tomorrow. Okay, we're sitting here in the living room, and I just have to show you the sweetest little thing. Hold on. Well, she's just woken up, but my husband's built a fire. There she goes. <laughs> Number one, she's claimed the leather chair as her own, and is just, could she be any cozier? No. This is a perfect winter Sunday. Good morning. Happy Monday. It is the 11th. Um, got some filming. Well, you've seen this. Yes, you have already seen this. <laughs> Got some filming um, getting set up to do a whole bunch of filming um, just so we can kind of take a break over the holiday. Um, so getting all that filmed, um, edited and uploaded and stuff like that so that you guys have videos twice a week, um, but that we can kind of take a break. So um, getting ahead on some filming is what is happening today. So Jenny's going to be on her way over. Um, we're going to film an end of year video together. And then, um, yeah, I'm just on it for filming everything else. Putting together a little bit, um, some fabric for my updated um, winter capsule plans. I've got a whole style journey I want to go on next year. So <laughs> that should be fun. Um, anyway, that's why we got the full face and makeup on today. Wearing a bright cherry color because it is very gray and nasty outside. So I'm trying to boost my mood. Um, anyway, that is what we have going on today. I will check back in. Can you hold it? Oh wait, Jenny's gonna hold it. Oh look, okay, my arms are so are. much longer. <laughs> so Jenny's with me now, um, and we have, oh, look, we put a calendar onto the back of this. You won't be able to see it normally, but i um, trying to track things for next year. And um, we've done one video, we filmed one video, and then I have a couple more that I need to film today. So um, yeah, moving right along. Thinking about, um, mm, thinking a lot about next year. Yeah. Kind of like thinking about this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excited reflecting. excited about next year. Mm -hmm. And um, I do need to go wrap some Christmas presents. Mm. And Me I'm thinking too. about Friday when we go out for dinner. Yes. We're going to go out for dinner and celebrate um, all the wonderful things Tom Cat Sister did in 2023. Yeah. And we've even invited our spouses. We have. Look how nice we are. <laughs> Hopefully they can get themselves out of their sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Both work from home. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great rest of your day. Okay, that's a wrap. I just finished filming. Um, Jenny already left for the day. Uh, she already um, went home. She We filmed uh, the end of year video, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. It was fun to film. Um, and Jenny kept me in the dark about it. So um, any surprise that I show in that video is true surprise. So anyway, it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Clearly, I've changed my um, clothes because I was filming a couple of videos, um, trying to get things filmed so that stuff can go out for you all um, while we're on holiday break. Um, so that, that is the name of the game this week, but I do want to get some sewing in. So 
I am now going to, um, I just filmed a pattern release. Can't tell you about that yet, but that is coming soon for you all. Um, so I'm going to go up. I need to edit and upload a couple of videos right now. And then, what time is it? Then I'm probably going to have to start dinner. Um, and then after that, maybe I'll come down and start working on my bias cut skirt. Um, obviously I'll take you guys along with me for any of that that I do, but that is kind of the plan for today. So stay tuned. I will check back in. Good morning, everyone. It is uh, Tuesday the 12th. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm in my Carla lounge suit today. Um, so here is the plan for today. I am going to um, sew my bias skirt today. Um, I'm going to sew my bias skirt today, but um, I'm not going to do the hem. So I am filming a tutorial on how to do the hem because remember I was practicing um, how to do a baby hem with the band roll um, that I saw on Instagram Reels and it worked really, really well. So I'm going to show you guys um, how that works. But I want the skirt to hang for 24 hours um, before I do that in case I need to level it off because this is a bias skirt. So the chance of that, you know, things growing and this hem not being equal are very high. So <laughs> I am going to just basically just do the side seams and then the waistband um, that gets done with elastic today and then we'll let it hang overnight. And then maybe on Thursday even, I will even out the hem if it does stretch and then film the tutorial for how to do the, um, the band roll hem for a baby roll, for a baby hem, which I think will be really exciting. So um, I think that'll be a good one on the channel when I show this outfit off. Um, so that's all that I need to do with the skirt. I am going to, at some point today, I tell you, my hair is being so weird. So I'm going to have to straighten it again. Like I have to straighten it every single day um, if I want it to be straight. <laughs> if I'm not wearing it curly, it just is doing all sorts of weird and fun things. Um, straighten my hair again, put makeup on because we have a four o'clock appointment with the accountant today. Um, it's just over, um, zoom or whatever, but, um, I mean, I want to look put together, but I thought if I go ahead and do that, then I can get, have my husband take pictures of me in this outfit. So, um, that will be ready for the Destashify video that you guys will see the last week of December. So whatever that is like December 26th, I think actually, um, is the Destashify video. So, um, that is the plan there. Now I do have three more things with my Destashify fabric four actually, because well, two Luna loungewears. One's a nightgown, one's the top and the pants, and then another pair of the Carla loungewear pants and that French terry. Um, we'll see. We'll see how I get on. Um, I have been editing this morning. I still have another video I wanted to get edited today. I just needed a break from my computer. It is actually sunny today, so I need to take time to get outside. I'm finding that that is, makes a huge difference in my mood. Um, my hormones have been all over the place here recently, which is a whole nother thing. I, because of my autoimmune, I have very regulated, um, hormones and we're trying new medicines and stuff right now, um, with my doctor. And so, um, I think it's time for another round of the, um, medicine. So anyway, <laughs> getting all that set, uh, figured out on Thursday, I kind of thought if tomorrow I can film and Friday I can film, then Thursday, cause I have two doctor's appointments on Thursday, um, Thir you know, today and Thursday can be sewing days. Um, then I can film some more next week as well as I still need to get those bags sewn up for my sister-in-law and her daughter. So that'll probably be in the vlog, um, in Vlogmas next week, the bag sewing. I would like to get, try and get those cut out today though. That is my plan. So yeah, all that to say, recap. <laughs> Sew the bias skirt, everything but the hem. And then um, I am going to maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll start tackling some of the, um, these other knit projects. We'll see. Um, or we'll just go over and, um, start cutting out those bags. Um, I actually need to print that pattern off. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the plan <laughs> and make myself look presentable sometime before four. So it is 1045 right now. So we've got some time. All right, let's start sewing. All right. So I have basically sewn my skirt. I've done just two side seams really. Um, and I've marked, you want to mark the top of the skirt because the waist is bigger. It's meant to be gathered in just a little bit by the elastic. Um, so this is like a very large waist. So I've marked the top. 
Um, the front and the back are the same, so I've just decided this is going to be the back of my skirt. And I have sewn my, I just measured this against my waist, make it comfortable, sewn my elastic together, and put a tag on so I can easily, I mean, this would have identified the back, but, you know. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to quarter my elastic. So that's going to be kind of center back. And then match those up and mark my sides. Oops, throwing pins. Just like that. And then I don't think I marked center front and center back on my skirt. So I'm just, my side seams will be one quarter mark. So I'm just gonna do center back. Again, it really doesn't matter which one's center back or center front because your front and back pieces are identical. I have also omitted the um, slit in this longer skirt. I don't think I need it. Hopefully that's going to be the case. I may live to regret that decision, but <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so now I'm just going to put this right sides together. Um, so obviously this is going to be the right side because I want that to be on the inside um, when all is said and done. And I'm just going to match up my points on my skirt. Now the instructions, your elastic is going to be, um, you're going to have to stretch it in order to fit. So your elastic will be smaller than the actual skirt back, but that's okay. That's what we want. Um, and what I'm going to do actually, the instructions want you just to use like a zigzag stitch um, to sew it because the idea is it makes it easy to, um, you don't want to pop stitches when you're pulling this up over your hips. I have no hips, so <laughs> kind of doesn't um, really matter, but instead of using a zigzag stitch on a sewing machine, I'm just going to serge it. That way, because um, the way elastic is kind of like a free um, floating uh, waistband facing kind of when all is said and done. Um, so that'll finish that off real nicely. And so then my, um, I don't have to worry about my satin fraying over time. So I'm just going to take this over to the serger and I'm going to stretch my elastic and um, serge right across this top edge and then I'll come back and show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so I've surged all along that edge like so. Here's the right side of my skirt. So basically what I'm going to do now is just, I flipped it up and then we're just going to flip it to the inside of the skirt. And so that kind of um, bumps up along that edge. Uh, all the way around so you get a really clean edge on the edge of the skirt and then the instructions just want us to stitch in the ditch on the sides to keep that anchored down um, and I think that should work I think the weight of the skirt should pull that down really nicely when it's stretched on the body so now I'm just going to stitch in the ditch from the right hand side and sew that elastic down on either side seam and then let it hang. So then I can do the um, hem. And again, the hem, I'll show you how to do that in the actual video where I show off the skirt. So um, you'll have to be a little patient on that one, but I'm gonna let it hang um, probably until Thursday. And then we'll even up the hem and I'll film that tutorial for when um, I show off the skirt. Yay. Okay, just a quick try on. Um, if you've not made a bias skirt yet, this is literally the easiest thing in the world to make. <laughs> Uh, and I think once I show how to do a baby hem, um, it's going to be even better. I will talk more about the specifics of sewing this, like maybe some tips and tricks um, that I did with working with bias. But um, I am very pleased with my finished skirt. I'm not sure. I may leave it. I mean, obviously, the length may change a little bit because um, I can already tell. You can see on this side it's a little shorter than the right um, where that's starting to drop. So I will, and I feel like the waist is pretty even all the way around. So I'm, 
feeling good about that. But I think I may leave it a little bit longer. I'm going to wear red heels with it and then a little um, a sweater, I think. I can't believe I've waited so long to make this. It's very comfortable, too, because of the elastic around the waistband. And I didn't put the slit in, but, like, I can get, like, that's how far I can get my legs. So I'll be able to easily, not that I'm walking around like that, but I'll be, my concern was being able to get up into vehicles um, for traveling. But I think, I, I think I'm going to be fine. So yay to easy projects. Okay, well, that was the easiest skirt ever. And that took me 30 minutes. <laughs> and it wasn't hard to cut out either. And I even cut out single layer um, and then flipped the pattern piece. Um, just, I mean, because it's a bias cut garment. So being able to cut that out on the bias. And I used a viscose satin. Like that is a shiftier fabric. Um, and I put French seams. It's two side seams. Put French seams in. I'm fine not having the slit. So I'm really actually really glad I didn't put that in. Um that was a really quick make. I think this could be my new favorite thing. Uh, that was one of the things we saw in New York, like constantly it was a lot of like slip dresses and slip skirts, uh, people wearing with like um, sweaters and stuff like that, wearing them with tennis shoes, as well as with uh, like heeled boots and high heels and stuff. It just kind of depended, blazers, all that kind of thing. So I may need another one of these in my wardrobe, especially because this viscose satin does come in a bajillion different colors. Um, it feels warmer. I, you could do it in a silk, obviously, like a silk charmeuse, but this viscose satin from Mood is just a little bit heavier, so it feels warmer. Um, you definitely don't need a lining with it. Um, not that, I mean, most silk charmeuses are going to be opaque anyway, so you don't really need a lining, uh, other than just maybe for warmth. Um, but yeah, this feels a little bit warmer and obviously the price, it's much, um, more economical price wise, but yeah, big fan of this stuff between my Bennett pants and now this skirt, highly recommend the fabric. <laughs> I think I've sewn with it now twice and uh, found it very pleasing. I'll talk more again about sewing with bias. Um, when I do the video with the skirt, which will probably be my outfit that I'm going to be wearing for the, um, Christmas Carol performance. So, um, yeah, I mean, okay, cool. It's like 10, 15. So <laughs> <laughs> or sorry, 11.15. So um, anyway, I think I've got plenty of time to, just not in the mood really to sew the PJs. I don't know. Maybe if I can just get the white thread on my serger, because yeah, I've got brown on there right now. I'll be feeling a little bit better. Um, but definitely I'm going to print out that pattern for the bag and um, maybe start getting those cut out. So I feel like I'm making good progress. I'll need to stop at some point because I do, like I mentioned, I have one more video that needs to be edited and uploaded. Um, and I think it's going to take me a little bit longer. Um, it's kind of a, a hefty one. So um, I do need to have a stopping, a sewing stopping point so that I can go up and do that. Um, although we have no plans tonight. And my daughter's life group was even canceled for tonight. So that does give me some wiggle room for, not necessarily, it's hard when, when your hobby is also your job. Um, but that does give me some possible time to um, maybe sew or something. I'd rather not be editing after dinner. That feels more like work. But um, I keep that within the work hour. But um, work hours. But maybe I could come down here and do some sewing. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay, I went ahead and sewed up this second pair of Carla loungewear pants. Um, I don't have any shoes on. Um, yeah, I mean, I love them just as much as the orange pair. <laughs> uh, I think these are going to be great. Um, so now I just have those two Luna Lounge wear um, the nightgown and the pants and tank, which I do want to get those made up. I think those would be nice to take with me when we go um, to Christmas. So I don't know. I will um, get to those when at some point. <laughs> All right. I'm going to really quickly go up. Not really quickly. I'm just going to go eat lunch. I'm going to go eat lunch. And then I'm going to come down and cut out those two bags. I'm not going to worry about the Luna loungewear today. I'm just going to get those two bags cut out so that maybe I can work on those on Thursday. Um, if not Thursday, then next week. Next week may be like a Luna loungewear, those two bags, um, sewing week. We'll see. Anyway, I, I do want to go ahead and get those bags cut out so that at least I've got that off my list. So eat lunch, do that, and then it'll be back to editing. I'm making myself stop at three to um, finish my editing for the day. So, so I think it'll take me a couple hours to do the editing and get all that uploaded. Um, so then I can stop my working day at five. Um, and again, I may come down here and sew this evening. I don't know, we'll see. 
Okay. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It is the 13th. Wednesday the 13th. Um, I am all dressed and ready. I'm going to do some filming today. Um, two videos, I think. I think I'm going to film two videos today. <laughs> so much to like get ahead of the, um, just to get ahead of everything. Um, because being gone for Christmas, it's amazing how, and I try and film just a little bit in advance so that, um, you know, the, the people that are helping me have time to like do what they need to do as well. Anyway, <laughs> and, um, I tell you what we were, um, being a small business is a lot harder than, um, I feel like a lot of us are led to believe. <laughs> Just um, on the tax side, on dealing with taxes. I am feeling completely like a fish out of water right now. We've been talking with our accountant and trying to figure out your end. Anyway, my brain is about ready to explode with all of the tax things I don't know, which that's why you hire an accountant, right? But um, there's like a lot that we have to do on our end, like for our bookkeeping and stuff that um, it's just, it's a lot. And I am very stressed. <laughs> we come on to year end um yes and yeah Th big things are happening with tomcat surgery as well just just from a completely like admin like um you know technical side of it um so yeah untangling tomcat surgery from our personal stuff has just been a bit of a nightmare and um i feel like i'm drowning a little bit but on that note <laughs> we're getting to end of year and it's the holiday season and i've not wrapped any christmas gifts and um all that kind of stuff but um on that note i'm having lunch with a friend today at 11 and it is currently like right after 10. so i'm going to um cut out my bags i can i need to clean off my cutting table just a little bit there back there um, and I'm going to cut those bags out real quick before I go, just so that is done. And then I think today I am, I do need to film two videos, but I think I'm going to go ahead and hem that skirt and film that hem tutorial, um, so that I can have all of that done and edited and uploaded tomorrow so that it can be up for Friday. Um, cause I need to save time for tomorrow to edit and upload the vlog, vlogmas as well. Um, anyway. <laughs> I just feel like I'm in a constant state of like managing my time and it has to be managed like to the nth degree right now. It's just a lot. It's just a lot, folks. Um, but that's okay. We're going to make it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get to cutting out those bags. All right. Okay. So I've had a very busy day. <laughs> So I went out for lunch with my friend and that was lovely and much needed. Um, I've got my little cardigan on today. My new little um, Amazon cardigan. We'll see how, wear it, how well it wears, but I mean, I'm really enjoying it so far. And I just did my band roll tutorial. I just filmed it to um, hem up my bias skirt. So I um, even that hem up and got that hem. So this skirt is finished and ready to go. I'll go stick it on the mannequin and... Um, show you. So now the next thing for that, that band roll you can reuse again. Um, so I'm just going to set it aside for now, um, is the shirt that I'm going to wear with this. So I wanted to do, um, I bought that little tool that does the pearl, like bedazzling the pearl that Mimi G, if you follow Mimi G on Instagram, she did that. And then Catherine Holbrook from Bringing Sewing Back, she bought it and did like a t-shirt. Anyway, I totally got sucked into the bedazzling. Um, anyway, I was trying to decide though, I went and thrifted a couple of like um, sweaters for like a couple bucks a piece. I don't think, one of them actually is very small. Like I think it was probably shrunk before it even went to Goodwill. Um, so I'm going to have to maybe see if my daughter wants it. It's very small. Um, the other one is a very nice sweater though. I'll probably just go ahead and keep that one. Um, it's like a linen blend sweater, but I was watching the Today Show. I had it on this morning when I was eating breakfast and Hoda Copy had on a sweater with a white button down underneath it. And the collar of the button down had pearls bedazzled on it. And I thought it looked so good and more my more my aesthetic, kind of that classic aesthetic with like some whimsy in there. Um, anyway, so I think what I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to sacrifice my white button down, my classic button down shirt 
and put pearls on the collar because I think I would wear it as is just with the pearls on the collar and then if I want just a regular um, and I probably will want just like a, a standard white button-up shirt or cream button-up shirt for me um, I'll just make myself another one um, maybe even a linen one that might be kind of nice to have in my repertoire this the one that I currently have is a it's a cotton and it's lovely um, but it's just a little thicker and stiffer so you know, that could be on my list for 2024 to make myself another cream uh, button-up shirt. Um, anyway, but in the meantime, I could just wear it with the pearls on the collar because why not? It's just something, again, I'm looking to zhuzh up my classic aesthetic, and I think that that's a great way to do it. So I will definitely take you guys along as I do that, and I think I'm trying to decide what I want to do still today. I got two videos filmed, um, which was what I wanted to do. Um, I did some admin work that that was good. I have now hemmed this, so that feels really good. Um, I cut out the suede parts of one of the bags. Um, I, I decided I was going to cut out both, uh, which is what I would normally do. But the pattern pieces, they're just rectangles, and I'm afraid I'm going to get confused if I don't have everything labeled properly. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just go ahead and make one of the bags completely all the way through. Um, and then, I mean, I can't use the same thread anyway, and then I'll go back through and make the second one, make, um, I think I'll make the pink one second. Um, anyway, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So, um, I've got the suede part cut out of the green one. So now I just need to cut out the lining and I have the lining sitting on the pressing table there. So anyway, I'm feeling very good about my day and feeling a little less overwhelmed. So that's good. <laughs> Okay, I am going to give this a press, put it on the mannequin, and show you what it looks like. And um, then I am going to iron that lining fabric and get the lining cut out for that bag um, so that the bag is, I, I'll be ready to sew it. I'm probably not going to sew it till this weekend, um, but then it'll be all ready to go and all ready to sew when that time comes. Um, so maybe I'll be dazzled the shirt today, or maybe I'll wait until tomorrow. We'll see, because <laughs> I have to edit the videos that I filmed, so it's a never-ending cycle. Okay, let's go get this on the mannequin. Okay, there she is. Okay, I, I literally have her, like, clamped here at the back because <laughs> my um, mannequin's much smaller than I am. Um, this was the easiest project, though, folks. I don't know why I waited so long to make myself a bias-cut skirt. Um, I'm very excited about wearing this to um, at Christmas time to the Christmas Carol. Um, for the live theater event. So there she is, all finished. Um, I probably won't have a video up with the tutorial and stuff until after the new year, um, but it is coming because I, I just filmed it. So <laughs> it is coming. Um, so uh, stay tuned for that. Okay, I have my shirt here. I have the tool. I've got my beads in this little dish and then there is um the little backs that come with it so I'll put those in this other dish and then I've got some tweezers to place those little parts and then I've got different sizes of um the top part here that the different size, because I have a whole bunch of different size pearls. I'll totally end up dumping that out if I'm not careful. I'm using the ivory colored ones. And then it also came with colorful ones. So um, what I'm thinking, I only have 12 of the largest size. So I think I'm going to do, um, so six on each side. I think I'm going to do six. And then I'm going to do a, the next size around the whole rest of the collar and then do six here at this color point. It'll probably be like four and two maybe. I was trying to determine how much I think it would be. Two, three, four. Yeah, I'll start at the point here. And then I'm gonna go back with smaller ones and go every other one for a second row all the way around the collar. So I'm just doing two rows of beads. That's what Hoda's looked like. So we're gonna see. I think what I do, so we've got this little tool here and it's got like this silicone thing, is we stick, and these are just like plastic beads, like there's no back to it, it's just like a solid bead. So it gets stuck up into that little silicone thing here. And then we take our tweezers and these little things have like little prongs. And those prongs need to go up. Okay, 
So I put that down into this guy with the prongs up. And then I'm just going to put that right at the point. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. I've just sandwiched the bits and pieces of my collar and then I'm pushing it down. I'm just really gripping that. It worked. Aha. Okay. So now <laughs> I've got one pearl on my collar. So I'm going to do six on this side, six on this side, and then do the smaller size around the back of the collar. And then I'm going to do a second row. So um, that's what I'm looking at here. So I'm going to do this real quick and then I'm going to come back and show you what I've done. Okay, I decided just to do the collar tips. Oh my gosh, and I put three different sizes of pearls in there, and I'm gonna button it all the way up to the top, and it's gonna be over a sweater. So this is gonna be underneath a cream-colored sweater, and I'm gonna do pearl earrings, and I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, now does this mean I'm gonna be purling, um, putting pearl beads on everything? No, but I am um, excited to see, like, uh, wearing this as I wore it before, um, but just with that little bit of extra something, something. I'm anxious to see how these, um, they've got these studs in the back, how this um, washes. But, um, I mean, I can put it into a lingerie bag when I wash it. But anyway, I think this is going to be so perfect for my, not only for my um, show that I'm going to, to be festive, but also just like a way to zhuzh up um, a wardrobe staple. Just a little something extra. That took quite a while which is why also I decided just to do the points of the collar. And I'm like, I don't really need to go all the way around. I just really want it um, like in place of a necklace, really. Uh, pearl earrings, I'll put on a red lip. I'm going to wear the green skirt and then um, my red heels. Um, I think I'll look very festive. But yeah, I think this is going to work for beyond the holiday as well, which is what we want. Hi, everyone. Happy Thursday. Um, okay, this is probably going to be short today only because um, I need to edit and upload this for tomorrow. Um, I've got doctor's appointments today. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of editing today. In fact, if I get into the sewing room at all today, it's going to be a miracle. Um, I have another meeting with the accountant today. <laughs> it's never ending. Um, bless the bless the accountants of the world. It's the patient ones especially um, that are helping us small businesses through um, all of the end of year things. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm probably not going to be in the sewing room. Um, over the moon with my uh, holiday outfit for a Christmas carol when we go to our live event, my skirt and my bedazzled um, collar on my shirt. Very excited about that. Um, I think tonight we may try and go back to the Chris Kindle market um, that we were at. You saw on Saturday. I will film stuff while I'm there and I'll just put it in next week's vlog. Um, so you can maybe get a little bit better. It was so crowded um, on Saturday, but I think my husband and I may head over there today. It's sunny and uh, the temperature is going to be nice. So um, hopefully I'll be out of town. Traffic won't be too bad. So it'll just be like local traffic that might be busy over there. Um, but I've heard great things about the roasted ham and I really want some <laughs> as well as the glue vine, um, which is like a spiced warm uh, wine. Oh, so good. Like a mulled wine. So good. Um, anyway, that is kind of my plan for the day. So I'm probably just going to sign off here because, again, I'm doing boring things today, just things that have to be done. And I'm going to call the vlog for today. And I will see you guys again next week um, for Vlogmas. And then Tuesday is a pattern release. So get very excited about that video on Tuesday. Um, okay, guys, I hope you're having a great week. Um, I hope you're getting in the holiday spirit. And I will see you guys again next week.